post-standing practice, which is known as Zhan Zhuang or Zhuang Gong in Chinese, is a cornerstone of martial practice, particularly within the style and the system of Xing Yi Quan. Classically, within Xing Yi Quan, all practitioners begin their practice and learning by standing in the San Ti Shi posture, which is the Trinity post-standing practice. While this is the primary post-standing posture that is practiced within Xing Yi Quan and the core of the style, there are other Zhan Zhuang or post-standing methods contained and practiced by Xing Yi Quan practitioners. These include Fu Hu Zhuang or subdue the tiger post-standing and Jiang Long Zhuang or descending dragon post-standing. Beyond mastering body structure and fundamental positioning, the practice of post-standing also aims to fortify the legs and the connective tissues of the body to enhance overall strength and stability. Its practice also transcends mere physical conditioning as it serves as a profound practice for regulating the central nervous system and cultivating mental focus. Zhuanggong or post-standing practice, along with the other skill-building and internal skill-building practices of Xing Yi Quan, aim to imbue the practitioner with deepening levels of skill. Fu Hu Zhuang or Subdue the Tiger post-standing is a traditional practice that is common among Xing Yi Quan practitioners. Fu Hu, subdue the tiger, along with Jiang Long, descending dragon, are derived from Taoist internal practice terminology. In general, to subdue the tiger refers to the spirit of the heart's fire descending and collecting in the kidneys in the form of water. In essence, it refers to settling the mind and allowing the energy and blood to flow through the body in a more natural manner. These names and ideas were applied to this practice of this post-standing exercise by previous generations of martial artists. Fu Hu Zhuang features standing in Ban Ma Bu, which is a half or semi-horse stance, which aims to strengthen and develop the legs. The arms are held in a rounded fashion, manifesting bracing and holding power, which further develops whole body connected structure and power. Standing upright with the feet together, step the left foot out ahead without moving the right foot so that the distance between the two feet is approximately two to three foot lengths. Raise the two hands to embrace in front of the chest with the wrist crossed and the palms facing inwards while keeping the arms bent. Draw in the chest and round the back. Han Xiong Ba Bei and relax the shoulders while dropping the elbows. Press the Bai Hui or the crown of the head up and naturally tuck the buttocks in while keeping your body upright. Your weight is distributed between the two feet. Next, bend the knees to sit down with the weight predominantly on the rear or right leg. Do not move the feet. The right leg is bent more than the left and the right thigh is as close to parallel with the ground as possible. Form a Ban Ma Bu with your weight approximately 60% on the rear leg and 40% on the front leg. Maintain the rolling in and tucking in of the buttocks while you continue to press the crown of the head up. Tuck the jaw in and keep your posture upright with a slight forward bend. As you form this posture, the two hands separate as the arms brace outwards with the left hand in the front and the right hand at the rear. The palms are facing one another. The left arm is slightly bent and held above the knee. The right arm is bent more with its palm held around the rib area. The elbows brace out so the palms have a closing inward power. Ensure that the shoulders are loose and that the elbows are sunk, the chest is drawn in and the back is rounded and settle your center of gravity. Gaze in the direction of the left hand. Ensure your toes are gripping the floor when you are in the Fu Hu 
posture. Focus your intent rather than muscular tension to maintain the correct structural alignment and energetic manifestation with the upper body. There should be both an inward closing power as well as a connected, rounded, outward bracing power with your upper body. Breathe naturally while you are in this posture. When inhaling, put a closing power into the legs as if you are standing on ice. Close the knees towards your center and manifest an inward closing power with the legs. At the same time, your arms will also manifest an inward closing power. When exhaling, manifest a tsai or outward stamping power with the front leg and dung or pedaling power with the rear leg. As you exhale, settle your body down slightly more and also focus on the expanding power of the arms. These energies and actions should be mostly manifesting through intent. Naturally cycle doing this as you inhale and exhale. Fu Hu Zhuang is a physically taxing Zhan Zhuang practice, which is dependent on your physical condition and ability. Your goal should be to gradually develop increasing both the depth to which you sink as well as the length to which you hold each side of this practice. If you are interested in studying authentic traditional Hebei Xing Yi Quan in a complete and systematic manner, then join the Hua Jin online learning program. In it, you will have access to hundreds of hours of in-depth lesson videos which cover all aspects of this classical martial arts system. The Hua Jin online learning program can be found at patreon.com slash Mushin Martial Culture.